Hi guys, so here we go with our start to finish gazebo and barbecue kitchen build. I started off by picking the design that I wanted, ordered the posts and got stuck in digging the holes. Prepare the posts to go in the holes, stick them in and brace them so they're all nice and level. Check your diagonals to make sure they're all square and then start the cementing process. Once they're all in, you can start getting the top beams in place. Just need to rebate out the tops all the way around. Once you've done that, you can get your ridge board in, fix your king post in place and then get your ridge board up. Next, get your rafters cut with the bird's mouth and the ends to the correct angle for the pitch and height that you've chosen. Cut the rest of your rafters and then fix them all in place. Time for the roof. Get your roof boards on. These are 18mm OSB. Get your waterproof membrane down and then your shingles. This was a cold one, nearly minus 7 degrees, so I waited for the frost to thaw before I went out. Got the side supports in, I also added extra posts at the front and the side. Here we go with the porcelain floor tiles. Dig it out to 6 inches and get the membrane down and then the MOT type 1. The boys are getting the tiles down and finishing off with the grout. Let's take a look. Starting the kitchen build with the timber frame carcass, made the lower part for the Camado and then completed the left hand side for the gas barbecue. I pre-fitted all the cupboard doors in place, these are Viva stainless steel doors and they look great. Next I started the boarding with these tile backer boards, make sure you use washers and stainless steel screws here. I used cement board on the hot areas around the Camado and the gas barbecue to make sure they were safe. Screwed them all in place and that is done, ready for the tiles. I found these beautiful 1200 by 600 porcelain tiles, cut them out and fitted them all in place. Take your time and do it properly. I did a dry fit and cut them all first before mixing up the adhesive. for the countertops. I made use of free fireplace marble from Facebook Marketplace. Cut these with the same grinder disc for the porcelain and get them fitted. They look great. Now to finish the worktops so get the top boards screwed down and get the marble in place. Now we're on to the battens. These are roofing battens here with a 10mm gap. Stainless steel screws so you don't get any stains. They're easy to fit and look really good. And there you go, here's the finished gazebo and barbecue kitchen. It looks great, it's ready to cook. I hope you enjoyed that and I hope it inspires you to do your own. If you've got any questions, pop them in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you back here for some tasty cooks over the winter. Take care and keep cooking outside over fire.